Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading and Oracle card reading for December 2023. This is a reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to jump right into this, but first I want to let anyone new here know I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. If you're looking for information about travel, moving, finance, that'd be a good day to come back. Mondays are different every week. I've also been doing Wednesday bonus readings. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it helps so people will see the reading, but then it will tell YouTube to tell you when those Wednesday readings are available. What advice? Whoa, do you have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about love. What does Taurus need to know to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? Messages for Taurus. Let's see what this is. Okay, we have the Six of Wands come fluttering out. We're drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. You are the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. You taking a break on me? What's going on here? The person you're attracting is the Two of Wands, Justice, and the Six of Pentacles. You have the Five of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Seven of Wands. I feel like they're saying, don't give up on love. Six and Seven of Wands here now. Now, these I've already shuffled. We're going to do the Moonology Manifestation first, and we'll take a Whispers of Love. All right, just to kind of round things out here, you have first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. Is that going to be easy for you guys? I don't know. I work with the Taurus. My One of my work BFs is uh, Taurus Energy. She definitely likes to take the reins, the bull that you are, right? And so for somebody here with that four of swords, eight of swords, if you've been a bit overwhelmed and you're taking a break from love, I actually feel like it's going to help you to get yourself back to center. But let's see. Whoa, did you see that? Sorry, guys. Um, what the uh, whispers of love want to tell you about love. You have take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever. So those of you that are feeling the four of swords and saying, I just have not been, I just haven't had a taste for it, you know? I mean, it's like, I just haven't been in the mood to get myself out there. I just feel like I'm too busy or I don't want to waste the time if it's not going anywhere. I do feel like they're saying it's time to get back on that saddle, okay? You got, you got saddled up a couple of times. And truthfully, the Knight of Pentacles is one of the few that's on the horse that actually has a saddle too, by the way. So with that Knight of Pentacles, it is about seeing the future. And those of you that have really been checked out in love because you're more focused on money, or if you had the end of a relationship and you are in a breakup and you have gone full tilt boogie on yourself, somebody wrote me a comment that said they were going ham on their spiritual life. If that's you, or it's on the physical body, or it's mind, body, spirit, you are going to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and physically leveled up. And so I'll tell you what, when you do that, when you take a break and we don't just, you know, curl up in a ball on our left side and hope that tomorrow's better. When you take that action, you are going to be like a light coming into the room and you will find they will be lining up for you. I actually feel like you might have more than one here. It's you got that great energy of let go to receive. And so with that Eight of Swords, you may have had people around you giving their two cents. And if it was a breakup and there were too many people involved, again, trying to give advice. I don't know why people do that. It's like, it's not your relationship. Don't come horning in on this. It just gets confusing. So with that Eight of Swords, if that's the case for you, or you've just been out of balance and too busy with some things, you've had your focus and attention on a different area, or even if you've had some kind of family crisis where you're like, this is not the time to get into a relationship. I am needed over here. I need to take care of this. When that is done, I'll be available. With the Four of Swords, though, I feel like it's self-care. It's that mental, spiritual, emotional self-care. And it's also, too, I feel like an indication of not getting yourself open up to people that you know are not going to be a match. Not being in a position where you're on dating apps and like being contacted by people that you are just not interested in at all. 
I actually feel like that would not be a good thing to do in this energy because it almost like I get this feeling of like my skin crawling, you know, like, ew, yeah, I don't want that. Nothing against people. Okay. Although I did see somebody the other day, a teenager wearing a shirt that said, ew, people. It was kind of funny, but <laughs> it almost reminds me of this a little bit, like getting yourself back into the place where you really feel like this is the time. Now, if you're already there, the person you're attracting here, I feel like they are looking, but they're kind of in the same boat where they're not looking to just take on anybody. They're not looking to be in a relationship just to be in one. And so with that two of wands, they also too may have been a bit busy in other areas of their life. That two of wands brings an expansion. It's that card of the visionary. So I feel like whoever this is, they may have a very nice place that they live in. They keep things meticulous. I hear fastidious when you go into their closet. It's nice and neat. You're not going to, you know, they're not nose blind in the car when you get open the door and go, oh my God, what is this? You know, that sort of stuff. I feel like they are very much, you're going to like their energy as far as how they take care of things. And I feel like they have great attention to detail. So if you are with somebody now and they're going to be fantastic at planning trips and doing research, they may not be the most spontaneous person in the world. It could be another earth sign too, by the way. It could be you got Libra energy here too. Um, you have all the elements, it appears. Actually, you don't have water, but that's okay. I feel like we still are in flow without it. I feel like with that Six of Pentacles, they want a match. They want balance. They want, again, you're leveling up. You're getting a high vibrational individual here. You are not taking on a project with this one. So you might find, too, they've been single for a bit, three, four years, some years in there, and they're just not in any big hurry because I feel like they've learned how to enjoy their own company. And they've also, but like I said, they stay fairly busy with projects and things. I wouldn't say they're a human doing. They're not just do, do, do where they can't, you know, sit still because if they do, the pain is too great. No, no, no. It's more like they just, like I said, there's a maturity and a com comfortable feeling about them. With justice, though, this is somebody who is going to be very upfront and they're very, very, they've got a deep level of honesty. They have a deep level of morals in terms of how they do things. This is somebody who, you know, would be honest if they were misbilled, they'd actually contact the place and try to figure it out. I think that you're going to very much respect their integrity. And with the energy of justice, it could be somebody who works in the legal system. It may be somebody too. I got like what I saw was looked like software development or somebody that works remotely and they're using some kind of computer or software type of deal there. But with the energy of justice, it's also saying we get what we put out there. It's a card of fairness. So it's a wonderful card to see here because it's saying you get back what you put out there. Now, the justice card wears the shawl of the empress. That green shawl represents the empress. The red robe is the emperor. So I do feel like it's somebody in here who's coming in that's going to make a nice complimentary energy to you. So I feel like you're going to be not only attracted by their honesty, by their openness, by their upfront kind of uh, nature. But I also feel like, too, they're you're, they're just going to be somebody who compliments you well. So all these cards, all four of them now. So I do feel like the six and seven of wands are important here because that seven of wands keeps things moving forward. It's don't stop until you get a match. The Six of Wands is success no matter what. And so the Six of Wands is support, it's adoration, it's having chemistry with this person. And so if you do have something going on here, if it is a, is, if it is a breakup with the Five of Pentacles, I mentioned before, if you have too many people in the mix or if it's just a situation that's been holding you back, I feel like that Five of Pentacles represents moving away from whatever that is. So if it was a breakup and there were people giving their two cents, you may find you get back together and you leave those people behind. They're just, you're just not accessible to them because you always have to wonder what's somebody's motive for that. And I know they can say, well, I care about you, but it's like for overreaching into your personal life. That's how you show care and concern and it just brings confusion. 
I don't know about that. I don't have a great feeling about it. If you feel like somebody has done that with you and almost like it feels manipulative, I'm going to be honest, somebody who had too many people giving their two cents. And if it was to your significant other, I almost feel worse about it. Like there's, there's some motive there that I don't like. I'm just going to tell you. So with that, I do feel like that change card is necessary. That five of pentacles, if you want to bring things back together, because yes, you do have love here. It is about change. It is about that let go to receive. One of those great paradoxes our universe teaches us. And so with the full energy, it is starting on a brand new, fresh, clean slate. It is a new beginning. Even if it's reconciliation, it's got to feel like a new relationship. So that can be one of the difficult moving pieces and parts in reconciliation. Whether you watch, you know, different videos about manifesting or 30 days no contact or whatever it is. When we we believe we know what someone is like, but we want them to show up in a different way, that's what gets a little bit tricky, is seeing them in a way that we haven't before. And so with that energy, the fool, though, you have trust, enthusiasm, taking a leap of faith. And with the Seven of Wands, it says, don't stop, keep moving forward. The Seven of Wands is triumph, success, victory. But it does take a little bit of effort to get where you want to go. So I definitely feel like, yes, it is in the cards here, Taurus. But it is going to take some bit of determination. And, and also, too, if it is a new relationship, not settling and moving forward until you find a match. All right, what else does Taurus need to know, please? What advice do you have for Taurus about love? Guidance, please, for Taurus and love. If you believe, ask, believe, receive. So know this universe is full of people just clamoring for you. You've got helpful people. Now that kind of negates that eight of swords, doesn't it? I still would be a little cautious because you know the cards don't lie. You've got romance. You, I feel like we rarely get this in our love readings. This is huge. So you may find this is going to be a sweep you off your feet or them off theirs or swept away together kind of a situation. You have, you're ready and we've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you too and I'll be back again soon.